Now the sun comes out and blinds me. Go figure. Hey, check it out. My jawbreaker sign. Yeah. Thanks, Big W. So as you can, oh, you can't see. Right here is kind of the top of it. We got a case sitting here. It's out of my friend's 71 bay window, which you've seen on the channel a couple times. So Joel's engine's puking oil from the rear main seal. That's two months old. So we're gonna go ahead and split the case, find out what bearing issues is going on, and we'll take it from there. Anyway, that's a, uh... come on, pivot. That's how I got it from him. He already did the favor for me and went ahead and stripped it down. Silicone, nice. So we'll go ahead and split it for him, see what's going on. And of course, we'll document it so he can see what's up with his engine. Let's get to work. So we got the last little bit of oil draining out that did not drain out in my car on the way home. Um, yeah, I mean, pretty much stock in block. But it has been line board 20 and thrust cut 40, according to the case. But all the rods look pretty good. They're all, um, barely any wiggle. So we'll pull it apart, see what's up. Without further ado, let's get to working, huh? He's got a bus he wants to drive. Put the clippity clippities in before I forget. Retain the lifters in their correct spots. Alright. Start pulling some stuff apart here. Here you go, wrench. All right, now we'll go ahead and pull our little spring washers off. At least this case has got them on there. I'll probably go ahead and pick up new hardware. Really don't know why I'm talking, because I'm probably just gonna fast forward through this anyway. All right, we'll go around the perimeter, make sure all the 13s are off. All right, all the 13s are off. Now we'll go ahead and switch over to the 17. For those that can see, I'm not wearing, oh, I am wearing flip-flops. I'm not barefoot. <laughs> I don't worry about 
getting too, keeping too clean right now because now we're dealing with a dirty case. Got that one. Got all six. So let's bring you in for a close up, huh? Without no shaky shaky? Yeah, good luck with that, huh? All right, so 13s are off all the way around. Got two back there by the oil pump, or I'm sorry, cam. Those are off. Got all of our big center mains off. Two clips fully inserted. Oil pump tool. All right, let's get you back in. Hold on. Pop goes the weasel. Do not pry hard on the case halves. You will damage the case halves. What you want to do, cute little tool like this. Eh, 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 eh. Run the nut out and it separates it. That's how you can easily split your case without damaging your case. I'm telling you, they make these tools for a reason, guys. Use them. Don't damage stuff because then you're just going to have leaks. All right. Now we got that going. I can give her just a little tappy. Just to make sure we're coming up. Because again, do not stick a screwdriver in here and pry it. You will damage it. I want to do my wrench. This one is being a little stubborn back here in the back because it's not really a sealing edge, if you will. Kind of gets a little, little help. Again, make sure our lifter clips are tightly in place. Lifter clips are in still. There we go. Carefully guide that up and set it off to the side. And grab a rag. Yeah, he had three shims in. I could pull the rear main first, that might have been a little easier. Yeah, I already see some damage on the rear main bearing. Let's get you off there and take a look, huh? How long are we at? Oh, it's only like 10 minutes. See, there definitely is a little chewy chewy on there. Oh, yeah. Here, let me see if I can hold you still. Get out of the way, stud. You dud. I actually see that rear bearing move just a little bit. That was the problem right there. What you know? All right. Dun, da, da, da. That would definitely cause the leak in the rear end or the rear form. And maybe why he's chewing up remain seals. I have a feeling. So let's move some of this out of the way. Pull the crank and check that dowel pin. See what's up with that rear dowel pin. Hopefully that's not damaged in the case. So we will pull the cam out. Set that gently off to the side. And I 
actually feels really good. Yeah. I don't know. Don't know. We're gonna pick. actually see the damage on that hole. It's actually been beaten back and forth in the case and while on that hole out. You can definitely see there is a ridge there. That's your oil galley, but there is, I can feel a ridge with my finger, especially back here because that bearing was loose. All right, looks like the case might be all right. So that's how you split a case.